What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button. Hit that notification bell, make sure you don't miss any of the awesome content that we have coming out. And with this video, we are jumping into Aquaman issue number 2. If you have not been keeping up with this series or Aquaman the Becoming, be sure to check out the links in my description as well as the top of this video. It will get you completely caught up on everything that has been going on with Jack. Jackson Hyde and Arthur. Now when it comes to Aquaman the Becoming, we had Arthur who was away on Mars for quite some time. And in this time frame, we see Aqualad really have to step up and be Aquaman. The only problem with this, he was framed. A good amount of Lantis believing that he is a traitor, he had to prove his innocence. And in doing this, he met his sister. But as that series of events came to a close, we have Aquaman returning from Mars. But right now, something deeper, something darker, is about to plague the entire planet. And because of this, Arthur turns to one individual Jackson will not be happy about. That individual being Black Manta. So be sure to buy the comics, support the industry, and with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we dive into issue number two, we're taken to Paris, France. Inside of this warehouse, we have a confrontation. Jackson face to face with his father. His father is experimenting on some human being laying on this table. In any ordinary day, we would see Jackson go in. We would see Aquaman go in. The only problem with that, Arthur says that Black Manta is actually on their side, saying that they are working together and he just needs a moment to explain this. Of course, this is something that Jackson doesn't want to hear. He knows who his father is. Moreover, his mother has been sitting in a hospital room for months now. Jackson hasn't left her side. And now he holds even more resentment towards his father for not even coming and checking up on them to see how she is nothing. Instead, he is sitting here in this warehouse and he is doing an autopsy on somebody. Of course, Black Manta, he does his normal, very cold demeanor, telling Jackson he needs to put his emotion to the side and they need to focus on the task at hand because right now they are wasting a lot of time. As Arthur really tries to convince Jackson this is in the best interest of anybody, he is not hearing it. And after his father says one wrong thing, we see Jackson just snap, forging his water trident. We see him go in and try to attack, and though he's not able to get any hits on his father, his father is also not able to hit him, with Jackson bringing in the water and flooding this entire warehouse. This gives Jackson the opportunity to take this body and make his way down to Atlantis. And Jackson's father, he admits to Arthur that he is relatively impressed at how well Jackson has got. How great his skills, his combat ability have evolved over the time. And this is where Jackson, he gets in communication with Mira. He's trying to figure out why Aquaman would ever be working with his father. Most recently, with Aquaman going to Mars, it raises the question, did something happen on Mars that would change his mind, that would make him think? that he has to do this or maybe he's under the control of somebody. And so with that, Aqualad now being referred to as Aquaman, making it very confusing because now there is two Aquaman. But he calls a family meeting. He does this in the hopes of uncovering whatever hidden secrets are being kept from the entire family, taking us to a very small town in Ohio. What we have is an entire house that has been vaporized. No people, no cars, no building, no wood, nothing. It seems that this place has just disappeared off the face of the earth. As the local police department try to figure out what is going on, one thing they do find is some symbols. Looking as if it is some kind of writing, they have no idea what they are getting themselves into. Black Manta and Aquaman, they are making their way very quietly through Atlantis. And as they do this, they have a tail. The creatures of the trench, they make their way towards them. And we have to think that this cannot just be coincidence. That the two of them working in secret, sneaking around this entire place, and now the trench has picked up their trail. 
taking us to the other side of Atlantis. This is where we have the meeting of the family. Jackson bringing this individual that had an autopsy done by his father. The first one to greet him is Garth. And he starts to fill Garth in on exactly what is going on. And Jackson is immediately met by skepticism. As Aquaman and Black Manta fight the creatures of the deep. Jackson is trying to tell everybody his story, what he has seen so far. And that Aquaman man is working with his father with Dr. Shin, Mira, and Tula all coming on scene. The doctor is here to do an autopsy, to try to figure out why this guy was so important to Jackson's father. And almost everybody but Mira questions him, saying that you've been under a lot of pressure, maybe you're just stressed out, like maybe, maybe you're seeing things, maybe you're, you're feeling something that's not actually happening. Or Aquaman has some other play that he will eventually turn on him and he is just working this angle and the truth is that could very well be a possibility because Jackson didn't give Arthur enough time to actually divulge any information Arthur didn't get the opportunity to explain a single word of this with Aqualad acting strictly out of emotion, Mira does bring up the fact that he has been acting differently ever since he returned from Mars. While this doctor is doing the autopsy, what we learn is that it is half Atlantean, seeming to be some kind of sleeper agent that has been on Earth for quite some time. At the same time, they are getting that footage from Ohio showing us that symbols that were written in the ground. These symbols are lost Atlantean language and what it says is Atlantis remembers and then there is a date corresponding to an oil spill ending the lives of seven Atlanteans being choked to death by the poison as Mira goes to make a phone call to Frankenstein on Mars we are taken to Aquaman and Black Manta what we find is a broadcasting station with an individual dead holding on to a lever Aquaman informs us that this is where the activation codes were sent from. That it takes two lives to send the signal. With there only being one body, it appears that somebody walked or swam out of here. But that's a problem for a little bit later on. Right now, Aquaman needs to know how strong his suit is. Because the both of them, they need to switch this lever. It takes two lives to trigger the distress signal. Two more to shut it all down. And though Aquaman will be protected because of his abilities, he needs to ensure that Jackson's father will not die because of this. Saying that there should be no issue, we see the two of them, they count down, and then they pull it. As we see the surge of electricity go pouring through this, they get flashes of memories and those they love. And that's what leads us to the maximum security prison known as the Aquarium. Aqualad has come here to have a discussion, to talk to Orum. And Aqualad, he has come here to try to get this information, any information, about what is going on. And of course, Orum doesn't want to talk to him. He plays in riddles, just messing with Jackson, having a lot of fun with him. But Jackson's powers have become quite strong. So much so that he has an ability that can make him talk. That ability is more or less bloodbending. With our bodies being made up of so much water, Aqualad is able to manipulate that water and contort him in any way he chooses. This is the motivation that Jackson uses to get this information out of him. As he bends and twists Orem's body, he lets him know that eventually he is going to get the answers that he wants, no matter what. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. So far, I have been thoroughly enjoying everything that is going on with Aquaman the Becoming and Aquaman. This issue in particular, we are really seeing Jackson getting to his breaking point after everything he has been through. Now Aquaman is working with his father. No one is giving him the answers he wants and we're seeing him, we're seeing him resort to torture. And obviously the others are going to have a lot to say about this. Specifically Arthur. But after everything Jackson has gone through, he truly is reaching that point where he is about to snap. 
And with that snapping, who knows what he is capable of actually doing. Letting his emotions, letting his anger all get the better of him. Regardless of any of that, it looks like he is about to get the answers that he wants. Now, we don't know what is going on with Arthur. We have no idea what happened to him on Mars. That is all going to be revealed in the coming issues. But let me know your thoughts. Let me know your theories. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by hitting the super thanks button. This button will let you donate directly to the channel and every little bit helps us out. Now, if you can't do that, do me a favor, hit that sub button, hit that notification bell, make sure you like this video, and until the next breakdown.